Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. On this channel, you find truck and SUV news, reviews, and interesting stories. Like I talk about reliability, I talk about problems with certain trucks, I also talk about resale value. Yeah, so in this video, I'm gonna tell you the top 10 pickup trucks for resale value. I also got them broken out by heavy duty as well. I get a lot of questions from heavy duty, so we're gonna do kind of a mid-size, full-size together, and then we'll do heavy duty together. I just published this over at pickuptrucktalk.com. I'll put a link down below the store if you want to go ahead and analyze it a little more. But I'm just going to basically throw it on the screen because I want you guys on YouTube to get the same news those guys on the website get. Yeah, we'll both get the same information. Let's get started on all of that right now. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this list. Now, this list comes to us from the Unloaded Researchers at iccars.com. It's a site to go shop for cars. But they also have a pretty good research team over there. They like to compile a bunch of these lists and send them to me. This one I thought was pretty interesting. So this is the top 10 pickup trucks resale values from the past five years. And so resale value matters. When you're buying a new truck, you don't have a lot of depreciation. You want to have some value when you're done with it. Okay, let's do it. Let's go ahead and go through this top 10 list. I'll start number one. Number 10, this is the full size and mid size kind of mixed together. But uh, yeah, let's just kind of go through these and we'll go through them step by step. So the Toyota Tacoma is 32.4%. That's the average five-year depreciation of like a new truck. So if you went and bought a new truck, you'd expect to lose about 32.4% over the course of five years. The Toyota Tundra is number two at 37%. The GMC Canyon is number three at 41.2%. Nissan Frontier, 43.5%. Then we get the pickup truck average. So the average depreciation, this is just for light duties. I got this number especially just for this chart. We uh, went back and forth a little, little with them. And this is 41 or 44.1%. Looking at now the Chevy Silverado comes in number five, 45.2%. Chevy Col Chevrolet Colorado, 46.0. Followed closely by the GMC Sierra, 1500, 46.1. So those are two first light, or light duty or full size trucks, um, the Silverado and the GMC Sierra. And they both come in pretty good. I mean, you look at the mix there. Nissan Titan comes in number eight at 46.9%. That's a bit of a surprise to some people, but the Nissan Titan has been a pretty reliable vehicle. And usually these are kind of related to reliability. Ford F-150 is 47.3%. And number 10 is the Ram pickup, 1,500, 49.3%. So the surprise for me was a GMC Canyon out of that list. And uh, I quoted the IC Cars executive analyst, Carl Brower, who says the redesigned Canyon holds value due to the heightened demand from its production hiatus, hiatus from 2013-2014. So when it came back, it was a desirable truck, and then now it's a desirable used truck. So it is pretty interesting. I also think the low volume of the GMC Canyon probably helps it as well. It keeps appreciation, or de keeps, <laughs> keeps it from depreciating so badly. Okay, so we got some more information there. But I said, what about heavy-duty trucks? People on this channel always say, Tim... I want to know more about heavy-duty trucks when you do this stuff, so here we go. I reached out to Icy Cars, and they got the chart back to me. So let's do heavy-duty trucks. Number one, GMC Sierra 2500 HD, 36.6%. The Sierra 3500, the one-ton, 36.9%. Oh, and I should say quite loudly, uh, I, they can't tell me gas or diesel. They don't know, the data doesn't show them gas or diesel. So these could be gas or diesel. Number three and number four, well, it kind of go like one and two. 38.3% for the one ton Chevy Silverado and the three quarter ton gets 38.3% as well. It's basically a virtual tie for third and fourth. The Ram pickup, the one ton is 40.5%. The Ram pickup three quarter ton is 41.1%. Ford comes in seventh and eighth, as you would imagine. You have 41.5 and 41.9. So really, Look at that, you got the uh, GMC and Chevy are kicking the crud out of the Ford truck. Really, I mean, that's kind of what it says. Now, 5%, uh, I don't know, that, that's not kicking the crud. All right, fair, but uh, you got to spice it up a little bit. So there's, uh, there's your listing of your heavy-duty trucks. Now, the average, heavy-duty pickup truck average was 39.2%. And so the Ford fared a little bit worse than that, and the GMC Sierra has fared a little bit better than that, also the Silverado. So kind of an interesting list. So here's the methodology. Um, I'll put it on the screen so you guys can kind of see it, but analyze more than 8.2 million new and used vehicles from model year 2015. New vehicles were sold in 2015, and while the used ones were sold between January and September 2020. So that's a pretty interesting spread because that's right during COVID when they were uh, sold. So kind of interesting. See how that impacts like maybe next year. So there you go. There are the listings for the depreciation, the 
best and worst trucks for resale value. So there you go. There is a list of the top pickup trucks for resale value. I'm sure there's some surprises, maybe or maybe not. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts there. Also, maybe wondering about the like Gladiator, the, the Ford Ranger, and the Honda Ridgeline. Well, according to IC Cars and quick Google search, those vehicles haven't been on the lot or on the market now for the last five years consistently. The Ridgeline skipped a couple of years, Gladiator's new, Ford Ranger skipped a couple of years as well. So when those trucks are on the market for five full years, like we'll get the list again, like 2021, 22, whatever, whatever year is going to be. So yeah, we'll get all those updated listings. I always pay attention to what they're sending over there at IC Cars. They do a good job putting information together. They have a really good methodology and how it all works and their studies. And I find it really useful information. I hope you did too. Also check this other video out over here. <laughs> it's a good time. Website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.